Today, lawmakers looked at a bill requiring a special device in order for some offenders to start their cars. The interlock devices would require people convicted of drunk driving to take a breathalyzer test before getting on the road. Phil Pendleton has more on the debate over the system. Since the late 2000s, some lawmakers in Kentucky have pushed for a device that would put the brakes on DUI offenders wanting to drive after drinking too much. This is the device that portion that you actually breathe into. That was video from a story I did in 2008. Now, seven years later, lawmakers are still pushing for passage of a bill that would require a breathalyzer before getting out on the open road. The evidence shows this is effective. Senator Morgan McGarvey's bill offers an alternative to what's called the hardship license after being convicted of DUI offenses. Now, instead of just completely losing your license, you can qualify for ignition interlock device. Some lawmakers from eastern Kentucky stated that the vast majority of the DUIs in that region are not because of drunk driving, but rather because of drugged driving. It does a lot more than... And Senator Robin Webb questioned the cost. It's been stated offenders could have to pay more than $2 a day not to mention the startup costs. What about those indigent defendants out there that are once again going to be discriminated against when they can't pay the master for this ignition? Yet the bill does have the support of the Kentucky Distillers Association and Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Most lawmakers said they supported the device but didn't want to take the current hardship license. In Frankfort, Phil Pendleton, the Fox 56, 10 o'clock news. A vote was not taken on the bill this morning in order to give lawmakers more time for review and discussion.